right, guys, I'm a bit excited today. Uh, um, one of my uh, biscuit fish, which I ordered, has come. I've ordered a, a snake skin because I just had one. I'll show you. And uh, I have to get one more just to make it a pair. So I'm going to get that right now. Just got a call from the aquarium shop. So as you can see, that's the guy. See, that's the guy I got. So I'm going to get uh, one more of him, a pair. And try to breed them and I'll keep you posted. So I'll take you to the tour to my, uh, uh, the, the shop where I buy the fishes from basically. All right, see you later. Yeah, I bred before also. Huh? Yeah. But right, guys, that is Josephine. I buy always fish from her. She's good. She knows many things about this. <laughs> so I got my discus right now. Nice one. Yeah, got one of my, same like that snake skin. These all are sold right now, otherwise I would have bought this. Alright Josephine, this is for my YouTube channel, for my friends out there, subscribers, thank you. Okay, so I got my uh, uh, new discus uh, fish. They're here, uh, they are a little bit stressed at the moment, as you can see. Uh, I got one, the snake skin and the other six small guys, the albinos and uh, five albinos and one turquoise blue color disc, discus. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm going to uh, take some uh, water from my old aquarium uh, where the other discus fishes are there and after that uh, put a little bit of that water into the new quarantine tank. So I'm gonna quarantine them for at least a week or maybe 10 days uh, to see if they don't carry any diseases from the aquarium shop, you know, or whatever it is. So it's much better for the other discus also, otherwise they'll get stressed. And not only that, they'll get used to you uh, in a week, so 10 days time, and you can notice them that if they are eating uh, their food or not, you know, so accordingly. So I'll show you in a time-lapse video what I'm gonna do, uh, and how do I quarantine them. Okay, so as we have done the complete video, now you must have noticed that I actually took some water from the uh, old aquarium where I have the uh, discus fish which is already there and put that into the fresh water in my quarantine aquarium. And why did I do that? Actually, I want the new discus fish to get used to the pH level, the nitrate, nitrite, whatever the levels are in the water to get used to it with, with, with the already available discus fish and to get them uh, their stress down basically. Um, while I changed the water, I used a little bit of Seacam Prime. Uh, I put uh, Seacam Stability, then I put uh, pH down just a little bit, a tinge of it because uh, uh, 
uh, I don't want to stress my fish. So as the pH goes down, the discus fish actually they, they, they love the uh, lower the pH. It's it's much better for them. So it's I'm, I'm telling you like 6.5 to 7. Well, I didn't show you the um, um, test that I have done the test on that, but now I've been doing it for couple of months I know okay this much when I put this much of uh, one ml of pH that's that's how much it uh, takes to bring this much of level of pH down so just uh, guys you don't have to actually <clears throat> you know uh, measure it every day when it becomes an everyday practice or two days or three days practice uh, it just automatically gets into you so you don't have to actually measure unless you see some changes in the fishes that uh, they are not feeling well or something like that. They're acting weird. Then you do the, you know, uh, the water quality test or whatever you want to do. So now, and you must have noticed, I have switched off the lights uh, for the fishes because when there is lights for discus fish, they 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 are new to this place and they they feel stressed and they they want to hide and, and as my tank is just totally bare. Um, you know, I switched off the light to make them more comfortable. Then I have put a little bit of black water um, uh, coloring uh, uh, agent, so the water actually turns black. You, you get to buy that in the supermarkets or you know the aquarium shops, uh, where you can actually uh, um, put this liquid, and the water actually turns a little bit black because basically in uh, in their natural environment, the water is actually a little bit of uh, you know mixed up with uh, you know. Uh, black color or whatever it's, it's not that clear 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 water crystal clear water what we see all right so this is the things what I've done so as I told you uh, discus fish they're very very um, hard to keep but they're not as hard also if you get used to it it's a wonderful fish and uh, you know you will love them it's uh, they, they are very um, you know, good to watch when you're sitting down and you know so just understand a little bit of their uh, you know natural behavior or how they interact with you in the in the uh, aquarium itself you come to know but yes water quality is very important for them guys keep an up or note of it and I hope you guys like this video thank you wait for the next one subscribe and like and comment if you do please if you have any questions to ask me I'm ready to answer that thank you so much